was stolen from Washington Square Park in San Francisco's North Beach. That's where KPX5 reporter Sharon Chin joins us now live. Sharon? Yeah, North Beach neighbors are right now at the place where the menorah stood. And as we speak, they are lighting the third candle for Hanukkah on their own small menorahs that they've brought right here. The 100 pound brass menorah has stood for almost two weeks near this Christmas tree in a corner of Washington Square Park. Miriam Muchkin, co director of North Beach Chabad, says her husband, a rabbi, was going to light the second candle yesterday afternoon following kids' arts and crafts festivities. He saw that it was gone, so it was devastating for everyone who came out for the celebration. She said she last saw the $1,000 menorah Friday night. It was installed as part of the North Beach neighbors' month long festival of lights. The missing menorah is two feet shorter than this one on her front lawn. Miriam can't believe it was stolen. Even though police security was arranged, we did take those preliminary steps and, and we're shocked. We're shocked by a six foot menorah just disappearing. Central Station Police Captain David Lazar told me officers provide frequent passing calls on all watches around or through the park, keeping an eye on things. Sometime between our pass through, it was stolen. Meanwhile, neighbors are shaking their heads. It's ridiculous, honestly. I don't know. I mean, why somebody would steal a menorah in holiday season. Something like that cuts into its being a wonderful neighborhood, and I don't like that at all. But tonight, members of the North Beach community are bringing their own menorahs, remembering the miracle of Hanukkah, where the last bit of oil lit a menorah for eight days following the Maccabean revolt. We're going to continue bringing light to our community and um, not letting hate or anti Semitism have its way. And they're lighting that third candle right now. Now, police are asking anyone with the information regarding that missing menorah to call their anonymous tip line. They're also asking recyclers to look out for anyone trying to recycle large pieces of brass. Veronica? And Sharon, it seems highly unlikely that, that no one saw this huge piece getting stolen. I mean, could this menorah have been broken into segments? Do you know? What well, we do know that the menorah itself can be broken into two segments. There's the top with the lights and then the bottom with the lampstand. The lampstand itself is three by six feet. So even if somebody did break it in two, uh, they would still have to take it into a van or some kind of a truck. Um, hard to believe that nobody saw it. Now, we do notice that across the street, uh, a couple of buildings, they do have uh, surveillance. Hard to tell whether or not that surveillance, uh, the surveillance cameras reached all the way across the street. Some of those businesses were closed today. All right. Fingers crossed. Sharon Chin, we appreciate it. Thank you.